Hi there, Nigel of NBW Graphics and today I'd like to talk to you about the squat with 100 kilograms for 20 reps. A little bit of background info first to set the scene. I spent the last seven years living in Thailand and the last two of that my training has been more off than on. Well after all, Thailand. Distractions, you know what I mean? Anyway, I returned home January last year as it was time for me to retire. And part of my pension plan was to get back into regular and serious training. Quite often, as I'm going to the gym, as I'm fortunate enough to live 15 minute walk away from the gym that I use. People I know stop me. There I am in my tracksuit with a backpack on that contains my gym kit. They ask me, where are you going? What are you up to? After all, not exactly how one dresses to go to work, is it? So I say I'm off for a workout. Then you get sometimes a kind of sheepish look with, well, I used to work out, followed by the excuses. The worst one of all is the real negative one. Well, I'm too old for that now. Well, I've got good news and bad news for you. The good news is, you're never too old to train. This month, that's November 2nd, I had my 67th birthday and I'm still pumping the iron. The bad news is, if you're in your late 40s or early 50s, that's when sarcopenia really starts to kick in. That is an age-related muscle and bone mass loss of the body, approximately 1% every decade. Of course, there are variables depending on your lifestyle diet, exercise, genetic inheritance, etc. Mother Nature not being satisfied with robbing you of your support and strength system, it replaces with fat. Because with age, your metabolism slows down. So you're not burning energy off as fast as you used to. Well, this is negatable. Progressive resistance weight training will encourage muscle not only to get stronger but increase in size. So you can slow the process down, even hold it off for quite a while. So that takes us back to the good news. The good news is if you're in training and younger than uh, the late 40s, Look at that as insurance. The more muscle mass you build, the longer you hold off the effects of old age. After all, isn't the whole purpose of the exercise to grow old gracefully? And not only gracefully, but grow old healthily. Now I think it's time to get to the gym and practice what I preach. After I've done the squats, I will then discuss, for those of you interested, my training strategy and how I got to doing the 100 kilo squat for 20 reps.
the strategy I developed in my training program to reach my goal of starting off with the bar only weighing 20 kilograms on set one. My aim is to go as deep as possible and at least to parallel but as I get heavier in my squats this is not always the case. This first set not only loosens me up but continues to train my neural pathways in the correct form of the movement. It is very important not to commit a very common mistake, sometimes known as butt wing. That is, as one gets deeper into their squat, you lean forward to take the strain and or weight off the quadriceps. This is not good. The body will naturally find the easiest way of doing something, just as water finds its own level. This is where butt wing creeps in. If quads are relieved of some of the weight, then it has to go somewhere else. And that is into the spinal erectors of the lower back. And that, boys and girls, is a recipe for disaster and injury. When I get to the 80 kilogram set, I then wear a wide neoprene belt to keep the warmth in my lower back muscles. The belt you see here I find very good with its elastic side bands for a tight fit. Also I make use of a knee support and the Paralifters training belt that I like to wear tight so it supports my core and as I go down into my squat and that includes the pushing out of the belt from the thoracic pressure. So for me from 80 kg and up, this gives me support and comfort as well as confidence. As I'm driving myself out of a squat, otherwise known as coming out of the hole, where the stomach will want to extend forward and the belt will contain this, which in turn prevents the lower back from hyperextending. That will help your abs and lower back do their job. In April 2016, after my warm-ups, I squatted 70 kilograms for 10 reps. So I followed this with another set of 10 reps in order to get the 20 reps required, plus a penalty rep, therefore making a total of 21 reps in two sets instead of the intended one set. When I achieved the 20 reps in one set, I would then put the weight up 5 kilograms. When I did my next leg workout and start off with 12 reps, 
and increasing two reps each workout until I arrived at the 20 reps. This gave me a doable, steady progression of gains every week. 208 days later, and after 33 squat workouts, comprising of 2,084 sets and 12,365 reps, I had squatted a total of 126 metric tons and 215 kilograms to finally reach my goal. I like to follow my working set with cross bench pullovers. Not only is this a good stretching exercise, but it also helps me regulate my breathing. After you have given that last working set your all, you will be really into heavy breathing. So that is not the time to cash your eye over to the little lovely working out on the other side of the gym. So what's next? Having reviewed this film footage and comparing my deepest squats in each set, I can see that I need to get stronger in my squat and to do that I will continue pyramiding up in weight and down in reps. Setting a goal of squatting 140 kilograms for two to four reps. Also during my warm up sets I shall continue to try and squat deeper in order to work my way through to the heavier sets doing deep squats. Finally, after my heaviest set, I will then drop down to 100 kilograms and do a 20 rep set. If I am unable to complete the 20 reps, so what? I will just get two more reps out on the next workout until I'm back at doing the 20 reps. Perhaps this time next year, with good karma and if the fickle finger of fate so allows, I will record the squat with 100 kg for 20 reps and split the screen so this year's set and next year's set can be viewed side by side for comparison purposes. So I will now conclude by thanking you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed and most of all I trust that it will be of interest to fellow weight trainers and if it helps someone improve their quality of life then this has been time well spent. And last but not least, thanks to my training partner, the GD BMF, for his support.